Welcome to Vermont Fish and Wildlife's Invasive Species Program LEAP. These videos and accompanying web pages will help you to locate, identify, evaluate and treat, and prevent the spread of these invasive species. This video covers starry stonewort. We've currently confirmed starry stonewort in two water bodies in Vermont. One of those is Lake Memphermagog where it was confirmed in a place called Scotts Cove in late 2015. Um, and then it was found in the South Bay of the Lake in 2016. Uh, since then, we've also documented Starry Stonewort in one other location, and it's close to Lake Memphremagog. Um, it's Derby Pond, uh, just a few miles away from the initial infestation that we found. Identification of Starry Stonewort is actually a bit tricky. It looks very similar to one of our native plants, uh, a macroalgae called Cara, um, the Cara genus. Um, Star stonewort's most distinguishing features, however, are the star-shaped um, small calcified structures called bulbils that are prevalent all throughout the plant. It's a very stringy uh, type plant, um, technically not a plant at all, a macroalgae, but if you find the small uh, white star shapes on a plant in, in a water body in Vermont, then you're looking at starry stonewort. Like many aquatic invasive plants in Vermont and other parts of the country, uh, starry stonewort um, can reach very dense populations very quickly. Um, it grows close to the bottom but will also extend the whole way to the surface um, where you can get a, a monoculture of that plant. So it outcompetes other plants and also can um, be deleterious to fish and other aquatic life habitat. Once star stonewort establishes itself in a water body, it's very difficult, if not possible, to eradicate um, and even controlling it to a managing it and keeping it in a small area is very difficult. So spread prevention is the key. Like many other aquatic invasive plants and animals, uh, star stonewort is easily spread by transportation of viable parts of the plant, making sure that watercraft, fishing equipment, anything else that contacts the water that might be infested with star stonewort, um, ensuring that that is cleaned off um, and dry before going from one water body to another um, is the best method for stopping the spread of star stonewort. For more information about Starry Stonewort, contact Vermont Fish and Wildlife.